right, boys and girls, uh, Cacti again here with you. We're going in this episode of uh, Flying with Cacti. We're going to cover uh, a lot of terminology and a lot of things that uh, you're going to need to be able to, to at least be halfway functional in uh, Falcon 4 BMS. Uh, as you can see, we're sitting here on the ramp. For once, it's daytime. <laughs> mainly because I made a free flight mission to kind of cover down on this thing. Uh, okay, so when you first start up your aircraft, um, unless you go through certain options in the mission planner to load up your DTC and things like that, and I'll probably cover that uh, in another video, but it's really boring, as if this isn't, right? But, uh, unless you set up your your uh, MFDs and things like that ahead of time um, once you get engines running this is what you're going to be looking at okay you're just going to have your basic fire control radar and your HSD display on the right side and that's it <clears throat> so in order to be relatively functional in each air-to-air -air and air-to-ground mode, you're going to have to figure out, you know, what you want, where, and how to get it there, and how to cycle the MFDs without wasting time, you know, in the middle of a fight trying to click the button. Uh, so, let's get started on this thing, alright? Um, okay, so... I've got the aircraft in, uh, in nav mode right now. Uh, first thing you'll notice is on the bottom side of the MFDs, the two pages we're currently on are highlighted, but the next two after that are blank. Okay, so how do you assign some assign a page to your MFD? Uh, click the uh, OSB under the cor the corresponding OSB and it'll show up a blank screen. You click it again and you'll get this uh, this display. So we've got our HSD up. Let's throw our uh, stores management page there and now with the f flick of a button you can cite you've got two different pages you can look at. Uh, and that that pretty much covers it covers assigning a, a page to your MFDs. Now, one thing that I the the way my MFDs are usually set up is in each mode I have on the right side I have the HSD, the SMS, and a weapons page. Now, sometimes the weapons page reads off. Uh, sometimes it. If it's like a, a Maverick or a Harm, you'll get a readout here, like we uh, like we covered in, like we're going to cover in the uh, Maverick video. Uh, and over here, normally I just have the FCR. Uh, what you cannot do is you cannot assign the same page to two different MFDs. If you look over here, you see we got HSD over there. If we assign it over here. It's going to take the page away from there and vice versa. So, uh, you can only have so much of the same data on, on displays. Uh, one thing I also want to cover are things that are not really implemented in this build of uh, BMS. FLIR is not here. FLIR is inactive. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate because it's a really cool deal, but because of the graphics upgrades they did they found that FLIR uh, just it just pulls too much uh, terrain following radar is at is here which is essentially the same thing as FLIR uh, TFR will only read below 2,000 feet so it's pretty useless uh, unless you're on the deck doing some low-level bombing runs um, the DTE page, it's, you know, we've already covered this. 
so I, I we covered this in the uh, in the uh, ramp start sequence. So I don't think we need to cover it again. Uh, targeting pod is that is available. Uh, if you don't have a targeting pod installed, it's just going to read a blank screen. Uh, and the FLCS is also available, but it doesn't really do anything, as you can see. So the only real pages you need to be concerned about are the FCR, the TGP, the weapon, the SMS, the HSD, and terrain following radar. DTE, the test page, and the FLIR page. Uh, the DTE page you're only going to use once. Test and FLIR, meh, don't need it. Don't need it mostly because it's not active. Uh, okay, so. Now, how can you cycle what page you're looking at without fumbling around trying to hit the right button? Uh, this is where things get kind of complicated. Well, not really complicated, just even more boring than they already were. A yawn, you know. Um, you're going to hear me mention a lot in these videos and the BMS uh, seg segments as well as the DCS segments about three different types of switches. They're called uh, TMS, Target Management Switch, DMS, which is Data Management Switch, and CMS, which is your countermeasures uh, switches. Uh, I would highly, highly recommend that you program all of those to uh, uh, whatever joystick you're, you're using because it's it makes the experience uh, of, of playing both DCS and Falcon 4 BMS uh, not only significantly more enjoyable but also significantly easier <clears throat> okay um, just to give you a kind of where it would be in the cockpit uh, on your on your right side stick and BMS this is your, this would be your trim uh, hat and then this is TMS this is DMS and this is your CMS switch so and the actual aircraft, uh, and I'm sure Brando or somebody can can tell me, hey, your orders are all messed up on the TMS and DMS. But uh, in the actual cockpit, it's all on the right hand stick. Uh, so to switch displays, you need to if you want to switch your left display, you want to use the DMS left command. There we go. Switch and displays. If you want to switch your right display, you want to use the DMS right command. And it'll cycle through all those pages. Um, if you want to change your sensor of interest, which you'll also hear me mention at length, you want to hit the DMS down command. And there you go. You'll notice you're, we're changing sensor of interest by the white outline outside of uh, on the outer edge of each MFD uh, and that's that just about covers it for DMS um, TMS is your target management stuff uh, whenever let me bring up a radar cursor here whenever you want to uh, designate a target you're gonna put those two straight lines if you're in air-to-air -air mode you're gonna put those two straight lines uh, over a reading on your on your radar screen and hit the TMS up button and that that does a the, the first time you press it it does a soft lock which means that um, basically you're you're, you're kind of focusing your radar dish on that target but you're also reading things around that target and the target doesn't know that you're lasing him. This is, kind of, this is pretty handy if you want to try and sneak in within range on somebody 
uh, sneak in on somebody six uh, from behind and, and fire off a BBR uh, uh, missile like an AMRAM or a Sparrow. Uh, so there is that. It also gives you the leeway to call into AWACS and declare a target, uh, which will cover into air to air video, um, and get it. And, and get feedback from AWACS as to whether or not it's hostile or friendly without buddy spiking uh, a friend without the, without showing up on an Allash radar as hey this why is my own guy looking at me type of stuff um, TMS DMS down and TMS up are the two commands you are you will use the most so understand what they do uh, and that's actually that's about it for this tutorial I'm not going to get really too far into it I, I, um, as far as DMS and TMS goes uh, I, I just wanted to do a, a brief video covering down on terminology and things like that that you'll hear me say a lot in the future um, and You'll probably be wondering what the hell is he talking about so quick quick uh, summary to assign a page click the the OSB you want to assign the, assign the page to and then click it a second time to bring up the menu select from the list and it's assigned to cycle MFDs you want to hit the DMS command to whichever MFD you want to cycle. If you want to cycle the DMS, or you want to cycle the MFD on the left side, hit DMS left. If you want to cycle the MFD on the right side, DMS right. Um, if you want to lace a tar if you want to designate a target, it is TMS up. Uh, you'll hear me talk a lot about about the TMS functionality once we get into. Uh, air-to-air -air modes, air-to-ground modes, and things of that nature. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, you guys can all find me on TeamSpeak at, or uh, shoot me a PM on militarygamer.com, and I will holler at y'all latest.